So, if you're watching this video, then you should have completed topics 24.1 and 24.2 on the website. You should be working on either 24.3, 24.4, and 24.5. So, what I want to talk to you about in this video is how to do factoring by group, which is a different technique than the one that they show you, which is a reverse boil method what people like to call guess and check, um, which I find kind of aggravating. So let me show you how this works. All right, so we're going to be using this as our example. And the way you start off, the first step is take first and the last coefficients and multiply them together. So in this case, we're going to multiply 9 and 4 together to get 36. thing you want to do is find a pair of factors of that product that combine give you the middle term. So in our case, our product was positive 36, which means that our two factors need to either be both be positive or both be negative. If this had been a negative, our product would have been negative 36. And one of our factors would have to be positive, and one of our factors would have to be negative. What we want is we want the factors that we find to combine to give us 13. So I'm going to write that over here as a reminder. Right? So what we want to do here is we want to start with 1. Okay? Because sometimes that works. And we're going to look at what these guys combine to. That's going to give us 37, which is not what we want. The next factor we're going to look at is 2. So you just want to work your way up from 1 to 2. It's going to give me 2 and 18, which is 20. I don't want that. Our next will be 3, which would be 3 and 12, which is 15. Our next one would be 4. It's going to give me 4 and 9, which will give me 13. That's what I want. So those are the two factors that I'm going to use. Once you find the factors that you're going to use, what you want to do next is you want to rewrite the expression by splitting up the middle term into those two factors. So in our case, we're going to take our expression here. We're going to keep our 9x squared. We're going to split this guy up. So it's going to be plus 4x plus 9x. And we're going to keep our last term, which is plus 4.
Our second to last step is to factor that expression at group it. So we want to look at the greatest common factor of our first two terms. So in this case, it's going, to, it's going to be x. We're going to factor that out. So when we factor that out, when we divide this by x, we're going to get 9x. When we divide this by x, we're going to get 4. Okay. Now we want to rewrite our middle sign. And we want to factor out the greatest common factor from these two guys. Well, these two guys don't have anything in common, but you have to factor something out. So you're going to factor out a 1. So and 9x divided by 1 is 9x, and 4 divided by 1 is 4. Our last step is to rewrite our answer. So we're going to write these two guys together. These coefficients in front of our parentheses are going to be our first factor. So that's going to be x plus 1. And this should match this if you've done it correctly. If it doesn't, you've done something wrong. Okay. But this is our second factor. And that's going to be i x plus 4. That's your answer. Right. So remember, you're going to start off taking the first and last coefficients and multiplying them together. Your second step is going to be to find a pair of factors of that product that combine to give you the middle term. So you're going to go through and make a list. Okay. The third step is to rewrite the expression by splitting up the middle term. Then you want to factor that by grouping and rewrite your answer. 